bring him in two people in the middle, yeah. Flat back four. <laughs> yep. Coutinho more of a central midfielder and probably giving to the side. Juan Carlos Rebollo on the far side. Daniel Jimenez at the benches and Ronaldo on the ball. They're back swinging into the middle. Juninho across Edu and slammed home. Ronaldo makes them wait no longer than one minute. The very first minute, Juninho. From the corner kick, Juninho Fernando was a do who brought it down for Ronaldo. And the first mistake of the match very early and Ramiro Blackwood's game plan down the drain pretty much in the first minute. There's the new celebration. Something. Roberto Carlos did streak. Juninho with Lyon, who have won three for France. But Ronaldo for Real, a disappointment, but not here. Gilberto Silva, the Arsenal teammate of Edu. Ronaldo. The delayed call will go his way. Veteran Cristaldo, he's an Argentine. Solid defender. I guess the one thing with Alvarez, as we see Ronaldo tripped up from behind by Cristaldo to the ground and foul number four against Bolivia. But with Colque and Alvarez, they do get a little bit more mobility. So it is a, the middle, Edu. Edu, Ronaldo, a harsh one. Quickly on the restart, Roberto Carlos pinching into the middle. Ronaldo still showing some pace. Just trying to keep them honest. It's a lot of handball, but I don't think they should have been called. His arm is... Well, we're in the number yep. five. Yep. He scored that early. Different game back then. Respect your elders and set up the table, but to amaze. A team that was no one. But or not, you take a look at this lineup. It's a defensive lineup that Pereira has put out there. Off to the races, Ronaldo. Uh, Ronaldo at the stutter step. Ronaldo to the box. Ronaldo slapped wide. He was sprawled on the turf. But Leo Fernandez got an arm out to stop goal number three. And it looks easy, Ronaldo. Every time he takes on a defender, he beats him. And here's the man who many Barcelona fans hope will make them forget about the good old days of Ronaldo. Brilliant to watch about Brazil. Every touch of the ball is a goal-scoring chance. Ronaldo throws the shoulder in, play in, a legitimate shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder challenge. Ronaldo with the double team, Sanchez. He's just missing the darts in his back because Ronaldo's playing him like a matador. Fans love that you see it, you hear it in the background. Ole. The ball around like the champions they are, huh? And there's the shoulder challenge. It's a good no call. Ronald Raldes going in hard. And the Oles are out again. Ronaldo against Sanchez. Ronaldo, Ronaldo against Raldes. Makes the... Goes out first and Valdez stays behind him. It's so tough to mark a player like that. If you go at him, he'll make you look bad. If you wait for him, he'll make you look bad also. So, trying to save some energy, maybe. Find that rhythm these Brazilians have. You said, why Germans don't play like Brazilians? Have you seen us dance? They don't dance have like rhythm. the books, at least half number one. For now, <laughs> ruin the story. Roberto <laughs> Carlos. Leaves it for Ronaldo. Flips it in Adams earlier in the game with some good chances. Ronaldinho returns the favor. Ronaldo down in the heat. Definitely Robinho, a local kid, so people would love to see him play. No, it's Alex. Two midfielders ready to come in. Ronaldo. Ronaldo, the soft pass to the middle. Leo Fernandez screams. At Arana, who slows down and lets him pick up the ball. He's tried this move about ten times today, and I think it's worked all ten. Every time he gets behind the defenders, and the defenders must be shaking in fear when he starts making that move because they know he's going to go, but they don't know when. And there's nothing they can do to slow him down. It's good to see that at least the Bolivians are not hacking and kicking Ronaldo because that's a way of slowing him down. The only way, maybe. Ribaldo. 
kind of politics it. Ronaldo back to Renato again. On side Ronaldo. Ronaldo again to Fino. Ronaldo Herrera. Alex. Because but they're marking. Look at Ronaldo with that cross. We usually on the receiving end. And Alex almost fouling. Ball swept in. Adriano and Ronaldo. Adriano pulls it back to himself. Lays it off for Alex. Deflected away. The rule. Kind of the mirror image of what the old rule used to be. It used to be you had to see light on the defensive side. Nice move, Ronaldo. Ronaldo cutting forward, but just can't escape the pressure. Look at Ronaldo in the second half. Still has the strength and the mental clarity to pull a move there on uh, Sanchez. The difference between the Ronaldo now and what we would have seen seven years ago in Barcelona or so is he would have needed that little stutter step to start the engine and he would have just blown past the defense okay. ay, 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 roberto carlos in and goal number four knocking on the doorstep leo fernandez again gets in the way it puts and the ball so tough to defend from that ball he crosses in the top of the six the goal now pops back nutmegs on the pass to ronaldo who tries to return the favor. He's knocked down in the process, and it will be a free kick up coming for Brazil. Ronaldo, oh, I did not see. Actually, he's well protected. Let's hear from this angle, the kick from behind. Aye. That hurts, he twisted a little bit. Some of the abuse you see these players take, it's, it's kind of a job interview for him. He's been playing in Mexico for what, the past six, seven years with Puebla most recently, but Currently let loose without a club. Ronaldo spins it forward. Could bring the youngsters up when they get slaughtered. He's not going to be the man that's coaching in the 2008. But they're going to Ronaldo. Lose Ronaldo. Kick save. His tenth. Well, I don't think he's more efficient on the line. I think that he's got to time his runs better. He seems to be struggling in, with control, but no, it's... That's what he wants, every yeah. single one. Yeah. Ronaldo, Adriano, Ronaldo, and Robinho tasting the soil, but not the joy. Well, last couple of attacks, they have not taken shots, which I'm surprised. There should, uh, should have seen a shot. There we should have seen a shot. Then they try to serve. Well, trying to serve Robinho. You. Yeah, I guess. Give the kid a chance in front of his hometown fans. <laughs> see how she's leaving the game. But I'm really joyous to see is the reemergence of the fans. And obviously, we'll know if that is truly there the next time they play at Maracanã, because Rio and Sao Paulo, two different two different teams the hardcore partiers in the Rio. and you know what I stolen by Ronaldo he caught Sanchez napping Ronaldo oh so close you almost wonder whether that was tactical get a little bit of a breather the defense forgets him and then the next thing you know just got away too much behind it too much effort too much energy Ronaldo right now if Venezuela could figure out how to score one more time, well, that's a good point. And it's, he still has time. He still has half qualifying left. And in all honesty, you take a look at the way they closed 2000. Threads the needle, gets a second track. Ronaldo in front. And a touch too unselfish. Well, nobody was expecting that ball ended up in Ronaldo's foot and oh Fernandez closed the angle pretty good nobody in the middle didn't hit it hard enough for Robinho I think he thought Adriano might keep running yep that was or Alex might come back somebody should have showed up there and that's where he plays the ball in the opening headed high by Roque Jr. Coutinho to the far side Ronaldo control the final whistle Three to one, Brazil topping the table at the turn. 
an impressive first half. Another angle. 